Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. MLB The Show brings you the game of the week. The Atlanta Braves taking on the Philadelphia Phillies. Hi, folks. John Chomby alongside Chris Singleton. And this should be a great one, Chris. First place against second place. Two teams right in the thick of the division race. Absolutely, Boog. The race for this division is tied, and these two teams look like they're going to battle it out the rest of the season. Who's the best team? Is there a clear advantage between the two? Well, the best way to find out is having them go head-to-head, -head, and that's exactly what we get in this one. All right, just about set to go. And on the mound now, Ranger Suarez. Well, he's allowing just over one base runner per inning, which is really good, especially for a starter, because... These hitters get to see you two, three, maybe even four times in a start. So just shows you how deceptive and how effective his stuff is. We'll see if it's that way in this one. Now in for the Braves, Michael Harris. As the lefty gets to work, that one finds the corner. And we're underway here in September, the last month of the season. A little bit high. And that's ball one. Kicks and deals. Up and uh -oh. in. Oh. Now two balls and a strike. This is a batter two who one. clearly performs better in day games. I don't know why, but his numbers generally back it up. Oh. Now one finds the corner. Two and two. And there's a ball. Three and two. Payoff pitch. Hard on the ground to first. And he takes it himself for the out. Here's Brian Snickers lined up for the Braves. A guy who's been huge for them over the last month plus, Matt Olson. He's one of the better home run hitters in the league this year. In fact, in the top five in homers in the National League. He's not missing many pitches. And I tell you what, when he gets his pitch, he goes a long way. Make sure you don't sleep on this guy if you're the pitcher. Back up the middle in a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, That's his third. bat stays the right in the zone on plane for an extended Runner. period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. Man at first, one away. One and two now on Acuna. Good job to fight that one off. Grounder might be two. Harper over to second. Return throw to first. Got him. Double play. And that'll do it. One hit in the inning, but no one left. So now the Phillies offense will see what they can do. No score. And we're back. And today's starting pitcher, Waskari Noah. Singing, he's kind of a road warrior, yeah? I definitely say so. You know, some guys shrink a little bit on the road. They're so used to just having the comforts of being at home and having the fans behind them but this guy seems to thrive in adversity and being in some hostile environment so when you have a player like this on your team that goes out there and competes you definitely like your chances away from your home ballpark bottom of the first here's the veteran shortstop Trey Turner 
And the shortstop ball. takes the ball. You know, a righty that throws with power. He features a slider, a four seamer, a changeup, and he works in a two seamer. The 1 0. And delivers outside. outside. That's a strike across the top of the zone. Dangerous spot for that slider right there. Didn't seem to quite finish out front and get that sharp break. Tell you what, he doesn't want to throw that pitch again. And a foul ball. The pitch. Gets a piece and stays alive. Well, pretty clear to me, he was trying to go deep right there, but you've got to get a pitch that you can handle. Kicks and fires. Just oh, off the outside edge. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Righty delivers. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. And the right hander deals. Inside oh, ball four. Oh, oh. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the wall. Very gritty. Brandon Marsh steps to the plate. Run around the move. Strike in there. Throw safe. Singy, he definitely showed off the wheels there. Yeah, and it turned out to be a bang-bang play. StatCast gives us the data, and that stolen base wasn't possible without that sprint speed. Man at second. Runner on the go again. Pitch in for a strike. Throw to third. Save. Well, sometimes stealing third base can be tough, especially if that shortstop or second baseman are making some noises, moving towards the back, try to make you think that you've got to stay close. Well, they didn't do a very good job of that. Get a comfortable lead, got a great jump, and that's how you steal third base. Righty to the plate. Got him. Huge strikeout there. Dominating strikeout there on just three pitches, and that's what a good power pitcher can do to you. If he's hitting his spots, filling up the strike zone, sometimes he bats over before it really begins. Bryce Harper to the plate. Tons of pop. Right now he's third in the National League in homers. And there's a foul ball. And it's nope, even up. Ball. Swing and a foul straight back. One, two, bottom of the first. The pitch. Yeah. Got him swinging. Two gone. Certainly a strikeout situation right there. The that infield playing back, and this pitcher has to step up and get the swing and miss. Really nice job of attacking the hitter at the play. Pretty big two out at bat coming up now. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. Third in the NL in RBIs this year. And that's, that's outside. And that is ball one. Turner on third with two out. Next yeah. offering is in for a strike. Let's see if he's Where willing to use the whole field right here. Definitely pounding him away. One one now. On the ground to third. That's a base hit. Run scores. Yeah. 
picks himself up at RBI. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team to bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. So two down. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. Definitely scuffling at the dish lately. Only two hits over the last five games. Just no, that missed. Hit, that's the ball. One run across in the frame so far here in the finale of this four game set. Line drive, base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Two consecutive base hits that for this great. team. You'll often hear the, the phrase short to it, the long oh, through yeah. it. And that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well-timed swing, and came away with a beautiful Good. line drive in the center field. Bryson Stott stands in now and watches strike one. This might be the most pressure you put on this guy today. You got one run in, you got to try to get another one or maybe two. It's great to get on the Outside. board in the That's first the frame of the ball game, but here's an opportunity for them to really open things up with a couple of runners on. Let's see if they can cash in. Ah. Next offering is in for a strike. First and second, two down. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. And that'll fall for a base hit. The throw in. It's offline. The run comes in. Comes through with the RBI. These days, most outfielders play pretty deep. And I'm not sure if that was a factor there or not. But off the bat, you're thinking it's going to be a pop out. And it just kind of nestled into that spot where no one was able to get to it. So first and second with two outs. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Alec Bohm. There's a strike. And he deals. Foul ball there. Two outs. Couple of base runners at first and second. Softly hit to third. Throw on to Olsen. Inning over, and it could have been worse. But two runs for him, and they jump ahead. We move on to inning number two here in Philadelphia. It's the Phillies two, and the Braves nothing. Back at Citizens Bank Park, and now Matt Olsen up to hit. Matt. You almost have to feel bad for Matt Olson after what happened in 2023. He played every game, hit 54 home runs, drove in 139, led the league in slugging, and he still wasn't even named a finalist for the National League MVP award. Oh one one now. Bounced up the middle. And it finds its way through for a hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. He needed that one. It's been a tough stretch at the plate lately. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. Here is Ozzie Albies up to hit. Outfield playing very deep. Not wanting anything over their heads. And there's the strike. Oh one. one That one fouled off. Here comes a pitch. Stays alive. Nobody out. Runner at first. In the dirt, and it's one and two. Well, with the 
amount of pitches that can end up in the dirt. A good secondary lead doesn't have to get away from the catcher, but if you're anticipating based off the trajectory, get yourself in the scoring position. Rojas makes the catch, and there's one gone. Throw, and it gets away. That is good. The third base Austin. Riley. Here's Austin Riley. Suarez, a former oh, All-Star. He features a sinker, a four-seamer, a curve, a changeup, and occasionally uses a cutter. And the 0-1. And a foul ball. Olsen stands at first with one out. Outside Ball. low, one and two to count. One Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. And a pitch. And that no. one Ball. a little below the knees. And that's ball two. Really close pitch down around the knees there. And you could see him asking where it missed. Probably doesn't agree, but it appears he's ready to move on to the next pitch. And another ball. Count is full. And the pitch. And ball That's four ball to a board. One down. Here's Orlando Arcia. Three for 13 so far in the series. There's a strike. If you're going to be a championship type of ball club, you've got to hit with runners in scoring position. And after last night's struggles, I'm sure these guys were chomping at the bit to have this kind of opportunity here early in this game. Runners at first and second with one gone here at the top of the second. The shortstop oh. takes the ball. 1-1. One, one. Our plate umpire, Freddie Ferguson. Pitch. That one fouled off. Two on, one out. Fouls it off, still one and two. And a pitch. Foul ball still a one and two count. The pitch. Fights that one away still one and two. Pitch of the at back coming up. Oh, great stop. There's one. Their second double play already. This one ends the second inning. So one hit is all they get. Now to the bottom of the second. It's the Phillies two and the Braves nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. Here's the center fielder, Johan Rojas. Johan Rojas. And here it comes. That missed by a lot. Ball one.
looked like it was a little bit up. Saying he wasn't very sharp in the first, got hit around a little bit, just wasn't able to locate particularly well. A lot of stuff for the fat part of the plate. Yeah, Boog, he wasn't fooling anyone. It's a tough place to be because it's not always obvious what adjustments need to be made. Sometimes it's location, sometimes it's being too predictable. Sometimes you're tipping your pitches. He's going to need to figure it out quickly, though. Right-hander kicks, deals. Got the bat going too soon. It's strike two. Two and two. That's downstairs and outside. Excellent location right there. Flirted with the zone, tried to get in the chase. The pitch. On the ground. Dives, but it's off his glove. Base hit. So he ends up with a hit after seeing a lot of pitches. That was a good at bat. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. And now they've got some speed on first. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. And here's the catcher, Garrett Stubbs. It's been a tough stretch for him at the plate. Just one hit in his last five games. into the outfield. Rojas around second, headed for third. Coming home. The relay throw. The tag, and he's in there. Back-to-back -back base hits. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. So the lineup flips over. Here's Turner now. The walk and a run scored his first time. Uh, that clips a corner. No balls. One strike. And the righty deals. That's oh. off the mark. And yeah, the count even one and one. one. one He's been trying to tease the zone with that slider, but these hitters have showed patience not going outside the strike zone. Man, it's second. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Hey. And down on Three. strikes. And one away. Now back. No left and digging in for Philadelphia, Brandon Marsh. He's 0 for 1. This kid picked up in a trade. A lot was offered and given to get him, but he's got a real high ceiling. Splits the plate, strike one. Looks like he's just sizing Going him up one. there. Really good pitch to hit, but he took it all the way. Sometimes guys just want to set their timing later on in the game. That may be a pitch that he turns on. And there's the strike. 0 oh and 2. That's oh. off the mark. Going to count 1 and 2. That's a really good take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. The 1 2. Line drive. Caught. It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting a line drive that finds a glove, but you will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. Here's Bryce Harper. His first at bat was a strikeout. To the right side. He'll do it himself. 
That ends the inning and stops things from getting out of hand. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. It's now 3-0. Third inning coming up in MLB The Show's Game of the Week. Back here in Philadelphia, here's Marcelo Zuna. Suarez back to work. That one back up the middle and it gets through. And the leadoff man aboard. Well, the last 10 games or so have been anything but fun at the plate for him, so that one has to feel good. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls, so a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. Here's Sean Murphy. Bounding ball here, rolls foul. And two now as he swings through it. Yeah, he was really tardy on that fastball. Great job of setting him up by throwing the curveball. Add some velocity to it on the next pitch. Can't catch up. Oh, and two now. One and two. Wouldn't chase that time. The Braves trailing by three. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Rojas sizing this one up. Makes the grab. And there's one down. Now that the center field. Michael Harris. So the batting order turns over. Michael Harris next up for the Braves. He's over one. First one offering over. misses badly for ball one. And a pitch. That yeah. one finds the zone. That's strike one. Next Two offering misses down and away. At the belt and fires. And that one pulled foul. Ozuna at first, one gone. Next oh. offering is down low. We got a full count. Oh. Payoff pitch. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Hit on the ground to the right side. Into the outfield. Base hit. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. He kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock. And you'll take that anytime you can get him to find a hole. Here's Brandon Nimmo. First pitch misses. Well, the offense really struggled last night. I mean, it was awful. So I, I think picking up a run right here, that's going to get him going a little bit. Right. Next offering is in for a strike. Two on, one out. Swing and a miss. 
Sometimes being lucky is a swing and miss. If he makes contact with that pitch, probably hits into a double play. Left-hand batter waits. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. Two down. We're going to take a look at the pitch sequence of that at bat, and the thing to notice are the pitch locations. Every single one of them on the edges of the strike zone, and as a hitter, that can be pretty frustrating because you don't expect the pitcher to be able to make quality pitches one after another like that. And so those are tough spots to do damage in a great demonstration of pitch command, and it got him a punch out that time. And here is Ronald Acuna Jr. Oh. In the dirt. And now a wide throw to third. And now a single might score two. Two outs, two in scoring position here in the finale of this four-game set. That's outside, oh, that's and it's two and one. Two outs. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Loves it on the dive to his knee, the throw, and very nicely done for the out. Making it look easy at the keystone position. Definitely worth another look. He'll get some high fives when he gets into the dugout. Set for the bottom of the third. And the batter now, Kyle Schwarber. The right-hander back to work. It's been a rough start on the mound for this guy. This third inning is so important for him to get on track, turn the page, settle in, do all those things you need to do to give your team a little bit of length in this one. Just oh, missed. Hot. Here's a 1-1. One, one. Swings through that. 1-2. Off the plate inside. And it's 2-2. Two and two. Yeah, that's, that's too high. Good purpose pitch right there. Trying Helpful. to tease him, get him to raise his sights, pop something up, and make it an easy out. Three balls, two strikes to count. That one that's is ball inside four. ball four. And I mean, oh, so close. Boog, if I were him, I'd be nibbling around oh, the plate as well. I mean, this yeah. guy is just capable of hitting oh, pitches man. outside oh, of the zone and driving them a long way. Castellanos oh. in the box now as he leaves that one up high. Runner at first with no outs here. Right through there for a strike. Wow, that's 89 on the gun, and it's a changeup. It's like good hitting if you're runner on the goal. Now this ball is well hit. This one's got a chance. And that one's off the wall. Lead runner makes the turn at second. Everything came together for him. So close to driving that thing out of here down the line and right. Just a little more behind it, and he's circling the bases right now. Still, though, put a really nice swing on it. This is Bryson Stott. Singled and drove in a run his first time through. 
Fought off foul. Base runners at second and third here. No outs. Strike two. He has a tendency to chase out of the zone, and that slider that's down, that's one of his money pitches to get that swing and miss. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. That one missed. Next ball. pitch is outside. outside. Kicks and fires. Still two and two after the foul ball. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Takes it in for the out. Well, that's a frustrating at bat right there. Big yeah, opportunity bad. and just no, missed it. I know he wanted to do some damage. Next guy, I'll have to pick him up. And now for the Phillies, Alec Bohm grounded out his first time. Ripped to third and caught. Timed it perfect. It's hard, I think, for those guys on the corners because, you know, especially when it's a you know right-handed hitter for third baseman, you don't see the ball all that well going through the zone. And if it's a left-hander, you got a better shot at it because you can see the ball going through, see the contact. And so that jump isn't always on time. Sometimes it's a little early. Sometimes it's a little bit late. But that one was perfect. And now Johan Rojas, fly ball to right. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that ends the inning. No runs, a hit, two left. Three innings complete. It's the Phillies three and the Braves nothing. Back here, Citizens Bank Leading Park. John Chomby with Chris Singleton. Man. And set Matt. to lead off the fourth, Olson. Matt Olson. The pitch. And it's fouled away. Clobber to right field, way back, gone. That one felt good. It's 3-1. Anytime you have a pitch down the middle of the play, the percentages go up for the hitter to do damage, even if it's a pretty good sinker like that one. Nice piece of hitting there at the plate. Ozzie Albies up to the plate. Right yeah. through there for a strike. But we just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run, go back to work, focus on this next batter. The wide to kick the pitch. Foul ball there. Kicks and deals. And there's oh. a ball. Some bullpen action for Philadelphia. Taiwan great. Walker up and throwing. Turnbull warming up as well. The Braves trailing by two. Top half of inning number four. Hit hard. That gets through. He was all that over that one. There was nothing cheap about the way he got that one through the infield. That was ripped. Cut out in front and... 
Didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on it. Here's the third baseman, Austin Riley. Worked a walk in his first trip to the plate. Ball nope. one, no strikes. Riley in his sixth season, 27 years old, and he's a former home run derby champ. Albies gets his lead at first. Nobody out. On the ground, could be two. Quickly to oh. second for one. Over to first, Please. safe. So now to the plate for Atlanta. Orlando Arcia. Over one so far. Just no, off the outside ball. edge. And yeah, that's ball one. And he deals. One and one. That that's one missed. Foul ball. Hard ground ball, base now. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. Up next for Atlanta. Next hitter. is the designated Marcelo. hitter, Marcelo Zuna. And fouled off. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Hit on the ground might be two. They put the tag on him, and that's two. Long ball draws the Braves closer. It's now a 3-1 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Welcome back, and they turn to a new arm as we kick Number off the 50. bottom of the fourth. Charlie Morton. Well, walks have certainly been an issue for him this season, so we'll see what kind of command he has. And now the catcher comes up to him. Garrett Stubbs doubled his first time up. The wind of the pitch. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Next one offering one. down in the dirt. Right-handed reliever. There's a strike. Line to left, and it stays fair. Makes the turn and heads for second. The throw in, and he greets the new arm from the bullpen with a double. That was a thing of beauty. He may have been a little behind the pitch, but by getting that barrel into the hitting zone early on in his swing, he was able to meet it and still shoot a line drive down the line and left. Back to the top of the lineup, Trey Turner now at the plate. A strikeout and a walk. Pitch misses That's inside. It, ball. ball one.
Runner in scoring position. Nobody out. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. And oh. another ball. Down the line. Acuna on the run. Won't get to this one. It drops foul. The 2 1. Right side. Acuna after it. He's got it. Tags up from second, and he'll head to third. Up next for Philadelphia. No left fielder. Brendan. And now Brandon Marsh. I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone here. Pitchers looking for a strikeout or a ground ball, hoping to keep that runner at third. Oh, that yeah. one's in there on one. Man, I mean, nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was. Righty delivers. And that's, that's the off ball. the inside edge. And now it's even one and one. Way yeah, out two. front for strike two. Oh, he's really one working two. that inside corner with the cutter. I'll tell you what, I hated that pitch. So tough to get the barrel to and to keep it fair. And two now. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Shallow left field. And there's two away. The throw is wild and it gets away. Now batter. The first baseman. Right. Harper. Bryce Harper. The next to hit. So RBI spot. But Chris, this is a guy that is not really swinging the bat all that well here. In this situation, you have a real good opportunity to get swings and misses and record a strikeout. I think you attack him in this spot. Pulls that one foul. Stubbs at third with two away. That one, one not one. close. And it's a ball to strike. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Nimmo brings it in for the third out. One left for Philadelphia as the lead remains 3 1. New inning getting started. Now, Sean Murphy. Sean Murphy. Suarez back to work misses that missed, just the off the outside edge. I think that was a strike. You know these Braves doing a good job of simply getting the bat on the ball in this game and the numbers back that up. One thing that really stands out to me is how they've only struck out one time. That's good discipline that. right there and on top of it they're producing more than a hit per inning. I love how guys at this level are able to slow the game down whether it's in the batter's box or on defense and right there that was a good job of knowing just how much time he had. We talk about that internal clock. He was able to gather himself get a good grip and make an accurate throw across the diamond. Next to hit Michael Harris and that one fouled off. Yeah, the lefty with the 0-1. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Okay. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Two up, two down. Well, he made pretty quick work of him right there. You look at the sequence, everything down at the knees and below. And some guys are good low ball hitters, but right there, they clearly had a plan to pound that part of the zone, and he wasn't able to put up much of a fight. 
Brandon Nimmo next up for the Braves one for two pitch misses oh, and it's one to know two out space is empty late on that fastball one ball one strike. Out to short. Trey Turner gloves it. And they put the tag on him for the out. So they go quietly there. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the Phillies three and the Braves one. Back at Citizens Bank Park. Bottom of the inning. Now it's the DH. Kyle Schwarber. The pitch. That oh. misses the zone. And that's ball one. Morton, multi-time all-star. He throws a slurve, a four-seamer, a change-up, a cutter, and he works in a sinker. Schwarber out of the play. And there's one down. Man, he smoked that fastball. He's all over it. It's just frustrating when you can't get it to fall. Maybe next time off, he'll find a hole. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. Right through there for a strike. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. A gigantic blast. His 24th home run of the season, and they tack one on the board. It's 4-1. That's a swing that'll boost the win probability for sure. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. Bryson Stott stands in for the Phillies. One for two. He had an RBI base hit back in the first. Bunting for a hit. Riley fires to first. No hit here on the bunt attempt. They get the out. Now well, I'm pretty sure he took a look around the infield to see where they were playing before laying that one down. And everyone is playing back. You assume that's going to be a pretty easy knock. But he just couldn't put it down in the right spot to allow him to beat that out. Maybe the right idea, but he just couldn't pull it off. Boom. Yeah. The batter now as he swings and misses for strike one. Oh, and one. oh that's that slurf right there. He threw it extremely well. He talked about just a ton of breaks. So one and tough one. to get that barrel to. Two down base is empty, but one run across. Last half of inning number five. Towards first, Olsen handles the chance. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. It's now a 4-1 ball game. Sixth inning coming up on MLB The Show's Game of the Week. We're back, and they make a change to start the sixth. The new pitcher, Taiwan Walker. And this is now an important part of this game. Tight score and still a lot of outs to get. Tight so ball. they're looking for a big outing out of him right here to get some critical outs. Here's Ronald Acuna Jr. He wrote a terrific piece before the season that detailed his love for baseball. Yeah, he and his friends would play at the beach in a huge lot behind the hospital or out on the street. All they needed was a newspaper and some tape, and they were ready for a game. Ball, that's and down. ball one. If you're on the mound right now, you know you have to retire this hitter. If he gets on base, it could open up the floodgates for this offense to score some runs. Wouldn't ball, chase that low. time. Two will count. Great hitter at the dish. If you're going to miss, you've got to miss outside the zone. You miss inside the strike zone, you'll be asking the umpire for a new baseball. Line of the pitch. 
And there's a foul ball. And oh, another yeah. ball. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Ground ball to Bowl. Fires across the diamond. One up, one down. Now batter, the first race. Matt Olson. Matt Olson up to the plate. He's already homered here in this one. Yeah, he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. He normally does oh, damage on that pitch in that location, just to swing and a miss there. I don't think you want to throw it again, though. One out, base is empty. Swings through that one, it's a strikeout. Ozzy Albies next up for the Braves. Albies having a lot more success on the road this season. That ball. misses the zone. And that one is ball, ball one. Activity in the bullpen. Jeff Hoffman up and loosening in the pen. Dominguez, a hard throwing right hander, up as well. Two down, nobody on. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. Couple of hits in a row for him here. Pulled that one right in the direction of the shifted defense, but no one could make a play on it. I mean, that's his approach, and it's probably not changing. Austin Riley, next up for the Braves. Riley. A beast all year long as he leads the league in RBIs here in our final month. Boog, the runner yeah. first needs to be careful right here. He's dealing with the pickoff artist on the mound. Well, they say it's the best pitch in baseball. Strike one. You get ahead on a good hitter as well. Gives a little bit more confidence to move to the at-bat. Not one even close there. And one and one. The Braves trailing by three. And we're the top half of the sixth. Hit weakly on the ground. Turner in plenty of time to first. And that is the inning. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one left. 8-9-1 scheduled in the bottom of the sixth. It's the Phillies four and the Braves one. Back here in Philadelphia, digging in, Johan Rojas. The center fielder, Johan Rojas. And the right hander back to work. Wouldn't chase that time. Inside corner, and that's called a strike. One, one. Check Two, swing, one. and he held up. offering in there for a strike and that is strike two
the wind of the pitch. Fights it off, he'll see another. Clearly trying to stay back a little bit longer for that changeup as he fouls that fastball back. Here's a 2 2. High fly ball out to left field. Nimmo has it sized up. Puts it away for the out. Now batting. Catcher Garrett. Garrett Stubbs stands in for the Phillies. Known for his rocket arm behind the plate. The bit behind with that swing. It's strike one. Your balls, what strike? Fastball for a strike. Base is empty one away here in the bottom of the sixth. This to center field. Brings it in with a nice running grab. Two away. The batter number seven. Shortstop. Trey Turner at the plate. Turner. That's a strike. Two down, one. nobody on. Here in the finale of this four game set. And a foul ball. Two outs. Up the middle. On the run. Sent it over to first. That's out number three. Phillies go down quietly in the inning. But they lead it four to one. All set for the start of the inning. Now in for the Braves. Orlando Arcia. The Braves in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff, man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. Strike one. Walker, in his 11th season, he features a splitter, a sinker, a cutter, a four-seamer, and he occasionally uses a curve. Caught him looking for the K. And now it's the Braves DH, Marcelo Zuna. Just nope. off the outside edge. One and one. Oh. One down, base is empty. Two one. Two and there's the strike. Two two now. On the ground the first. He handles oh. it himself and two away to start the seven. Now batting. Catcher. Sean Murphy. Sean Murphy next up for the Braves. He's built his reputation as one of the top framers in the sport. And that one fouled off. The Phils leading by three. Here at the top half of inning number seven. Next pitch is downstairs. Right-hander kicks deals. Blows the high heat past him. That's a strikeout. 
Braves go down quickly here, and this is still a 4-1 ball game. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Tyler Matzik. And they felt it was time to bring on a left-handed reliever from the pin with the lefty hitter coming up. I think it's a good move. I know I never liked when opposing teams did that to me. Now the left fielder, Brandon Marsh. The left fielder, Brandon Marsh. The pitch. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Action in the pen down there. Rysel Iglesias getting ready to come in for manager Brian Snicker. And now the lefty. And a foul ball. And a pitch. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0 and 2. And a pitch. Swing and a miss struck him out. The first baseman. Bryce Harper stands in for the Phillies. Harper. And the first the pitch misses for ball one. And ball. another ball. Bases empty one away here at the bottom of the seven. Hammered down the line. Could be extra bases. And that rolls into the corner. Harper into second, and he's got a double. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right there. Man at second with one away. And now the DH, Kyle Schwarber. Out of the corner for a strike, and it's 0-1. 0-1. And Harper, the runner at second with one away. Foul ball there. Man at second. Ball. Well, that's kind of what you expect in an 0-2 count. Excellent job of the hitter to have the plate discipline to lay off of that pitch. Left-hand hitter waits. Right. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Hitters become defensive, and all of a sudden that plate starts to get really wide. And what happened? So they turn things over to the righty, Rysel Iglesias. Pretty like tight game, so they're looking for quality it. pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Now it's the right fielder, Nick Castellanos. And it may be a long shot, but a triple here will give him that's the cycle. The ball, that's down. Just missed. The 1 0. Check no, swing, that's, and that's, that's a ball. ball. Nice job to keep the hands back on that one out in front just a little bit. That's in there, and it's 2 and 1. In today's game, not that many fastball counts, but hitters still in the back of their minds, they're looking for one. 2 0 changeup call right there. Excellent pitch selection to go with. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. Okay. 
Here comes a pitch. Chopper right side. Olsen. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. The Braves' pen comes through in fine fashion. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Phillies four and the Braves one. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Jeff Hoffman. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Back to the leadoff spot in the Braves lineup. Michael Harris getting ready to hit. One for three. And a pitch. And misses inside. Well, it's critical right here that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats. Try to chip away at that lead because if it gets to the ninth, that closer's coming in. That one ripped. And it hops over the wall for an automatic double. The left field, number nine, Brandon Nimmo. Here's the left fielder, Brandon Nimmo. Fought off foul. And the pitch is in for a strike. Oh, a two down. Well, we call that keyhole. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. The Braves trailing by three. And we're in the top of the eighth. Runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. Now, this pitching staff has been merciless against him in this one. I mean, he struck out six times in this series, and we've seen no adjustment out of him so far. And here is Ronald Acuna Jr. Outfield deep here, trying to prevent anything over their heads. Just no, missed. That missed. That's a ball. One out and a runner at second here in the finale of this four game set. Turned on, but foul wide of third. Man at second. Check nope, swing, no low, appeal. The 2-1. That one fouled off. Righty to the plate. And a swing and a miss. Two down. So back-to-back -back strikeouts now, and they still haven't managed to do anything with the leadoff double. Yeah, Boogie, and you just don't want to get careless here. You've done a really good job to get two outs after that leadoff double, as you mentioned, and just got to execute your pitches, and it's a non-issue. Here is Matt Olson. He's already homered in this game. Pitch is in for a strike. It's 0-1. 0-1. Runner at second, two down. That one, one missing one inside. That to right. Castellanos gets under it. And makes the play, and that's out number three. Braves strand one, and they trail it 4-1. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Joe Jimenez. And if you dig into his walk rate, his numbers are really impressive. He's really filled up the strike zone this season, so these batters better be ready to swing the bats. 
Bryson Stott stands in for the Phillies. The second baseman. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. And a pitch. And that gets the top of the zone for a strike. Boy, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. 0-2. Oh, the pitch. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. pitch swing and a miss struck him out and there's one away Alec Bohm stands in for the Phillies the third baseman Alec Bohm. Ball. At the belt and fires. Hey, hey. On the ground, right That's side, and it goes just foul. One down, base is empty. Hey. Goes down looking. Yeah, that's a tough pitch to stay on. You don't want to get beat inside, and as you see that pitch continue to run away from you, by the time it's in the catcher's mid, you think it's a ball off the plate away. Two outs, base is empty. And now the center fielder, Johan Rojas. First pitch, just misses. Two down, nobody on. And oh. another ball. Yeah, Next what? offering is in for a strike. Two outs. Fouled off left side. That's a laser base hit. And that keeps the inning going. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. Other than ripping one into the gap or blasting one over the wall, there aren't a whole lot of hits that are more satisfying than a nice line drive in the center field. So that definitely felt good. And yeah, the batter now, Garrett Stubbs, right through there for a strike. Kicks and fires. That right. one finds the zone, and the count is 0-2. And they'll do it again. Rojas, the runner at first with two gone. In the air, left field. Nimmo has it sized up. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. Philly strand one as they hold on to a 4-1 lead.
back now and on the mound the closer Jose Alvarado and one thing on him he's been really good this season at keeping the ball in the park not an easy guy to take deep the pitch warning track ball and you can touch them all baseball man A solo shot. His second home run of the series. And they're chipping away. It's 4-2. Welcome to the game. First pitch out of the bullpen, a tough one. And you know he's just trying to get one in there for a strike. And on the other side, as a hitter, it's a great time to be aggressive and let it fly. It's not what they were looking for when they turned to him, but now he's got to find a way to reset. Now it's going to be Austin Riley. <laughs> and a strike. Next offering misses, and yeah, the count one and two. And that's outside. The Phillies trying to close out a two run lead here at the top of the night. That misses, counts full three and two. And here it comes. Line drive. Makes a nice running catch. Well, there's one away. Man, that's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat. Garcia, that the next to hit, ball. takes ball one. This is the guy they turn to to get the most important outs of the ball game, but they're going to make him work to get this save. Next pitch nope, is outside. outside. Ball. Swing and a ball popped up. Parker has a beat on it. He's got it. That's out number two. So it's their last chance in this one. And next is the designated hitter, Marcelo Zuna. And there's a foul ball. Two down, nobody on. Outside. Ball, out. And the count even one and one. One strike away. The rope into right, and that's a base hit. That's tremendous fight from him, and I know it's got the dugout fired up down there. Down to the last strike, and he comes up with a hit to keep the game alive. It ain't over yet. Now, here is Sean Murphy. And that one is inside ball one. Swing and a miss. 
That's strike one. one, one. Just amazing to me how many closers and back end relievers just throw absolute gas these days. I never would have had a chance. The tying run at the plate. Right. Got him. That's the ball game. Playing meaningful games in September is always exciting. A win today, first day of the month. This will just add more fuel to the fire. And your final, 4-2. The Phillies hang on to win it. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shomby. Thanks for joining us for the Game of the Week. They left eight runners on base. For Atlanta, two runs on 11 hits. No errors. They left 10 runners on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 46 minutes. Our paid attendance at Citizens Bank Park this afternoon 